Pseudo Show. All right, welcome back to the race show. So we got a guest. The guy to my left is Mr. Tom Segura. Hey! 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 Boy, people are excited you are here. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's awesome, man. I haven't been here in a long time. You and your buddy, uh, Bert Kreischer. Fat Bert, yeah. I was telling you off the air, like, it was you and him as far as, hey, uh, you guys going to, you know, you guys, you're going to be on the Riz Show. Um, you got to have Tom. You got to have Bert. You got to have Tom. You got to have Bert. And clearly, Bert is fatter than you. Dude, of course. You've seen us both. Because <laughs> I see this, like, Twitter, this Twitter thing. You know, Bert yeah. is fat. Tom is fat. Yeah, it's it's a battle. It is a battle. It's a fat battle. It's a it's a heated battle, and I think it's a it's a fatal. I think I think Bert is fatter. Do you want to? <laughs> do you want breaking news right now? Sure. So we've been having a um, we had this fat battle, and one of the things we did was we sold shirts that say hashtag Bert is fat mm-hmm. or hashtag Thomas fat, and we've been pushing them. We made promos, uh, we made YouTube videos, and we've both been pushing it on social media for about a week and a half. And, and who's uh, winning, dude? It's not a battle. It's a massacre. Are you killing them? It's like 10 to 1. Oh, good for you. Wow. Yes. So, shirts don't lie, guys. Good for you. <laughs> shirts don't lie. Bert is and obviously, obviously, you guys are, are good friends. Yeah, is, that, of is that one of your, your crew guys? Like, who's oh, the, yeah. Who's man. the crew you roll with as far as comedians? Oh, I mean, Bert and I are, are like best friends. So. Be- look at the besties. We are. We are we're besties. We're, we're besties. We're big old fat besties. <laughs> and. Yeah, we uh, we rub cocoa butter on each other's fat bodies and um, mm. feed each other donuts. Uh, yeah, so he and I are good friends. I'm friends with, I don't know if you've had uh, uh, Joey Diaz in here. Yes, yeah. he was great. Yeah? He was great, Joey Diaz. Yeah, what's up, guys? And uh, <laughs> Ari Shafir, um, you know. That- Ari Shafir, was he the... Uh, what- Ari Shafir was the guy, was the uh, the racist guy. The, yes, uh, the yeah. amazing racist. The amazing racist. Yes. That's one of Riz's favorite clips of all time, when he gets all the guys in the back of the truck and then drives it's straight It's brilliant, man. He's gotten so much hate hate for that. If you, like, haven't, if you haven't seen this video, <laughs> The Amazing Racist, and, and it, dude, it's terrible. Hon- honestly, it's terrible. If it's re- Is it real? Uh, I actually, you know, I, I didn't know he was doing that when he was doing it, so I didn't. I never got like full answers on that stuff. I'll, I'll explain what this is. Yeah. So Ari Shafir, your buddy, is in a pickup truck and he rolls to like a Home Depot or a Lowe's where they have Mexican day laborers outside. Where right. you know if you're the foreman of a job, you uh, you kind of pull up to the Home Depot and you go, all right, I need you know five guys. Yeah. So the five guys jump into the back of the truck. Who are uh, usually natural, not natural born right. citizens. No, yeah, no. right, right. I think we should add very that well put. They, they by the very delicately put. Here legally, yes. So Ari, they has don't like, look like us, fellas. <laughs> between five and ten of these Mexican guys in the back of the truck and drives them straight to immigration, like straight to the immigration office. And then office. they they just jump out like and yeah. they run as he's honking. As the he rolls up, he's going. No, I mean, he's going. Burr, 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 I got him! I got him! It's, it is the most politically incorrect it thing is, and ever it's, Look, it's a bit, right? But like, yeah. it's a bit, but it's it's uh, it's done well. It's done so believably well that there's like there's been huge back. Like one time he got, I think it's when he first got his Comedy Central show, mm-hmm. and he was booked somewhere, some radio station in Texas that has a uh, you know pretty <laughs> <laughs> Latino <laughs> listenership. I don't know what they, you mean? Um, what do you mean? They got a very angry, and uh, they they tried to like get get him, <laughs> yes, fired from the gig. Uh, they tried to. Did they? Oh, yeah, on. man. You know, they're like this guy, Adi Schaefer. He's trying to do these things, and then yeah, they they tried. Don't to get you think just up. people get so butt hurt nowadays about everything? Yeah, of course. Have you? Have you? It's very sensitive times. Have you really pulled back on anything? Uh, no, I, I don't. I mean, you know. I mean, I've heard your stand-up before, but for people who don't know your your comedy, is there anything that you were like, eh, maybe I shouldn't do this? I don't think in terms like that. I think with comedy, I don't know, it's probably just like the same thing as like doing a show where, you, you know, there's like an ebb and flow and sometimes things come up that you're like, that's that feels old, like that doesn't feel funny anymore. Mm-hmm. But I don't go like, that would upset this person, That therefore I'm not doing, you know. That'll upset the audience. I don't think in terms like that. Like when, think, like when you're writing your, you know, your routines and stuff like that. You're writing your jokes. You don't specifically go. I'm going to write something just to offend somebody. No, never, never. I, I don't write it like that. I, I think you just. I, I write in terms of. I think this is funny. 
Like, mm-hmm. I, you know, if, if it's if it's funny, if it, if it keeps coming in your head and you're like, this is funny to me, then I try to take it to the stage and make something of it. And then if it feels like, if you get that thought, that feeling of like, this just feels, something's wrong or off mm-hmm. about, not that it's offensive, just that you're like, something just doesn't feel authentic about this or doesn't feel funny, then you just stop doing it, you know? Well, it's like when people call us, shock jocks which yeah, i hate that i term. bet dude I hate it. yeah i hate it i hate it because we don't do anything specifically like we don't get in the more like i don't get up in the morning and go eh, today i'm gonna shock people yeah yeah because yeah. we just it's four guys talking yeah i agree like, it's this a is terrible what term we talk about yeah so are you a shock comedian no 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 stupid it is stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Hey, you, it should be stopped immediately. You dopes. You're so stupid out there. <laughs> Big Come bunch see of, me this weekend. Big dummies. bunch of yeah. dummies. Big dumb stupid yeah, idiot. You're at uh, Helium Comedy Club uh, this weekend. Two shows tonight. Two, shoot, two shows tomorrow. And uh, earlier in the show we were talking about, I wasn't sure whether we were going to get Tom Segura here or we were going to get DJ Dadmouth. Man, I got things to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fun to DJ, man. I might tweet out where I'm doing a pop-up set tonight. <laughs> Hit him up on Twitter. You never yeah. know. It's fun to DJ, man. Well, DJ Dadmouth is this like alter ego you have when you go on these like morning TV shows in like, yeah. Boise, Idaho, where yeah. obviously the the anchors of the show have no idea what your comedy is. You're just a booked guest. They're usually actually the funny thing is I think morning TV people are so excited to see you come in. As you know, whatever, like with a costume on, mm-hmm. that most of the time they're pretty fired up about it, and like they want to roll with it. You know, they go like, "What? Yeah, what's going on?" And I'm like, "Just ask me about how Fat Bird is." And they're like, "Okay," and they get excited about it. But then some, like Jacksonville, Florida, I did one where you can you can see it online that she is completely thrown off, and I tell her that I'm uh, I tell her I'm coming out. Uh, <laughs> Well, I asked her, I go, you want you want to have like a big moment on the show? I have a big announcement. She's like, yeah, what's the big announcement? I go, save it. So let's save it for the air. Mm-hmm. And then I go, yeah, I'm uh, I'm poly and I'm bi and I'm non-binary. And she's like, what? <laughs> and, oh, that, that's, a, yeah, I actually yeah, saw I that yesterday. That. that was the one where every single thing you said, she answered with this. <laughs> <laughs> but then you see her face kind of like scrunch, scrunch up. up and go like, <laughs> Uh, one time she gets like grossed out because I tell her about non-binary is that like people fall on the gender spectrum as male or female. I, and I, now I, there's I a still new don't thing. know what that is. Yeah, so now the new thing is you can be like, I'm non-binary, which means I'm neither male or female. And like it, sh- it shocked her to her core. Like she was, <laughs> she was like physically and visibly... <laughs> Looked like she was going to vomit at the idea. I was like, yeah, I don't have a gender. And she was like, ha, ha. And it just made her so uneasy. That was my most I don't have a gender. <laughs> I, tell her, I told her I was fluid gender, which is a thing, too. I don't know what these things are. No one, you shouldn't. So <laughs> that's like when people go, like, fluid gender is when you, like, you feel like you can... You switch genders from time to time. So, like, right now, no, I'm not I might committed. Be this. And, like, later on, like, don't hold me to that gender identity. Later on, I might be another gender. So, how do you refer to somebody who's got fluid? That's on you, stupid. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the other thing is like, it needs, <laughs> like, there's this whole movement. I'm so of, confused. Of, like, you gotta I'm use. I'm so confused. <laughs> you gotta use the right pronouns all the time, you know. Which I mean, it's one thing if somebody goes, "Hey, I prefer this pronoun," but then there's this push that like you should be looking at somebody and asking them, which I think is the most uncomfortable thing. Like if you see somebody and let's say you go, "I don't know if that's guy or girl," they're saying you should be like, "Hey, uh, what's your specific gender pronoun that you prefer?" Like that's not the most uncomfortable way <laughs> to start a conversation with somebody. And then they go, "I'm kind of a they there person." They them, so that they you them. Yeah. I'm so confused, but they don't, but but you can't some, call somebody it, right? Uh, <laughs> oh, it bad. is pretty offensive. <laughs> I think yeah. <laughs> I just want to know what's in bounds and what's but, out of bounds. But there is that uh, one's out. Uh, hey, what's it doing later on today? <laughs> I don't think. Let me write that down. It are we going to its house? That's not good. <laughs> 
Kevin's going to the comedy show. Oh, I don't want to go with it again. <laughs> yes. So He's doing bad. it well. That's, that's very, bad. Yeah, that's bad. But there is Z, right. Z Zim. That's out. <laughs> a Z Zim. Z like Zim in is France? one of, like, Z, with every, like, it's, it's like he, him, but with a Z. That's a big one. Say what? Where yeah. do you receive so like, all this information from? I just, I've you know, once we thing. start talking about it, then like we talk about it on our podcast a lot, then you just get bombarded like when because people who listen end up looking it up themselves and they just send you all the information. Hmm. There's so much information that, you know, I I just I can't even keep up with. I'm it. not looking to offend somebody, but I, you know, I I get confused. Yeah. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> so binary binary is you're not man nor woman. Non-binary. Non-binary. Okay. Yeah. So but what are you then? Well, that's the thing. I mean, why are you so like tied to these genders? Oh, so I should <laughs> label things. Yes. <laughs> and he did that, to that, to that gal on the morning show live, also, and she just was destroyed. I told her I was Jalen Ramsey's agent, uh, the the first round draft pick for the Jaguars, the Jackson, and she was like, "What?" <laughs> 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 all, just, all I wear is like this like furry scarf. Uh, it's like chinchilla or something, right? <laughs> oh, she's wearing chinchilla? Yeah. No, he does. Yeah, he was. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got to watch this video. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure, hey, Five, post that video if you could of uh, Tom on this. At the, at, the very, at the very beginning, he's like, I got breaking news. And she goes, okay. And he goes, well, I'm Jalen Ramsey's agent. And she goes, is that the breaking news? And he goes, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But the whole thing, you know, it just comes out of those morning TV. Like, radio is different, you know. But morning TV is almost never, never like, oh, that was fun. Like, that was a good time. Yeah. Hey, usually not. Because Sometimes they're like, nice, but like. Because it's like usually like a three-minute thing. Yeah, they want to like, and then they're like, sell your show that you're doing at the club. You know, they're not what even like, let's whore? talk. They're, yeah, they're just like, sell your show, do whatever to sell your show. Okay, sell me a ticket, Tom, for yeah. tonight. Like, <laughs> okay, why should I, why should I any, come see you? Are you anything like that Gallagher? Because he's good. I like him when he smashes fruit. Do you smash fruit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. no, it's mostly meat, you know, it's steaks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just up there tenderizing things. That's it. Throw it's a just little like, steak on the barbecue after. It's so bad, man. It's it's just a way to get through morning. Well, I just food. want you to have fun here. That's it. Of course, man. I just man. want you to have a good time. I'm having a good time. Well, you know, people got um, people got questions. Okay. All the time. All right. For us. Yeah. And and you're here. I'm thinking maybe putting your two cents in because people email us all the time asking our advice on certain life topics. Oh, there. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it's an ask Riz uh, kind of thing. Okay. He seems very worldly, right? That's what I'm saying. He knows yeah. so much about so many things. Uh, I mean, he, he learned us about non-binary, which I never <laughs> I never knew about. Yeah, and I'm he not sure if he prefers it. he. We really should ask. Yeah. Z. Exactly. Z. That's a really good point. <laughs> <laughs> he never asked my, my pronoun <laughs> choice. Tom? Yes. I'm just going to call you that, Tom. We're just going to avoid oh, the yeah. pronoun. That We're is a good way around it. Yeah, anyway. Just use their actual name. That'd I really wish you didn't know my name. <laughs> uh, email us uh, your questions. Riz Show at 1057thepoint.com. So Jeff over here has got some questions that people need answers to. Yeah, this is a guy named Greg, and he's 32. Uh, he says, after 32 years of being single, I'm finally shacking up with my girl. We've been together for one year. Pretty sure this is it. But as I was packing up my stuff, I found my old stack of Hustlers and Playboys. This would be the old Playboys with the actual boobs in them. Mm -hmm. There aren't that many, but one is the Playboy of Tiffany, that singer from the 80s, which is very important to him. He still got that? Apparently. <laughs> She what? has a new single out, by the way. I think I actually have that in the upstairs. suitcase of porn. He's got there. a suitcase of pornography upstairs, like old Playboys and stuff. Yeah, and some like a real nasty DVDs and stuff too. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the DVDs. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's your parting gift when you leave. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my girl has made it pretty clear she doesn't want me to keep them, the Playboys and the Hustlers. Do I give in and start the process of her running my life now, or do I take a stand on this? Oh my God! The first line here is after 32 years of being single, so he's never had a girlfriend i don't know how old this guy is that's a long run yeah, man. A long, <laughs> that's a long run and he's probably got a lot of nudie magazines yeah. if he's 32 years single i feel conflicted for this guy though i feel like you definitely have to establish your you know you got to set whatever your you dominance well whatever you set stand for now that's going to hang the whole time right like it's you, setting you, precedent you have to set the precedence exactly so if you don't if you do that now and you say look man i, I i'm keeping these you got to deal with it that's going to I think help you in the long run, but you've been single for 32 years. Like maybe you should just 
Get Take in. whatever you can get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't piss her off. Is yeah, what man. She may leave. Because it could like, be another 32 years. Since yeah, I mean, your you're not exactly the person we can tell, hey, there's other people out there. Because for you, <laughs> I don't think there are. This might be the only person alive that wants to hang out with you. Are you married? Yeah. Would your wife mind you having porn in the house or no. looking at porn? No, but it was early on. I was masturbating a lot in front of her, and she kind of knew what was up, you mm-hmm. know? <laughs> <laughs> Setting you a precedent. Set precedent. Yeah. You set yeah. the precedent. Exactly. Like, this is what's going to happen in our relationship. I'm in the living room. There's a laptop open. Right. You, you can you hear it. You know what's yeah. going to go on. Yeah. You can hear <laughs> it. Yeah. So you then when are she, the computer. So when then she complains, you know. You can hear the computer. <laughs> when she when she, when she complains, you know, five years down the road, you go, you knew what you were getting into. Exactly. And when when, when other I hear like other women sometimes be like, ah, my boyfriend. Can you believe you watch this porn? And my wife will be like, yeah, that's what guys do. Right. That's what guys like, do. My husband's done it. So much. <laughs> I uh, we have we have a friend whose whose wife won't let him, let him have a Maxim magazine, like what? she's th- like that style. Wow, come Isn't on, isn't that sad? Yes. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? It's more sad that he's with her. It's so much. Like, I, I understand that someone could be like that. Why would you tolerate that? I don't know. Because they're so scared. They're why? So, but they're why, scared. why are men scared? Because they're scared that they're scared to be alone. They're scared that that they. They're getting laid, and they're like, "Well, getting laid go away," you know. They're they're just go scared of. If your wife got a bad haircut, would you tell her? Oh yes, that's, yeah. that's my guy. Oh, okay, here we All go. Right. Here All right. we go. You would tell her, correct? Yes. Would you say it like this? No, 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 no. no. Just, just give us an example of how you would say it. Okay, yeah. Okay, I would say it like this. <laughs> you know, just, a, just a blank stare, like that. <laughs> with his eyebrows. <laughs> All right, really so that's, that's probably that's probably not not the best, but not the worst. <laughs> if your wife went and got her hair cut, and yeah. it was a shorter haircut style, would you say to her, "Make sure you don't call me like a lesbian"? <laughs> Real life. Real life over there. <laughs> you said make sure. <laughs> make sure you don't comb it like a lesbian. Uh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with that? Although, right although I didn't use the word lesbian, I used another word for lesbian. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> my well, uh, my mom got a haircut like that, <laughs> and uh, my dad used an, yet another three letter word. <laughs> she was fine. Um, you know, yeah, man. I you got you have to you have to. Words we you know guys are conditioned to do things like yeah hey, you're great everything's great you look great everything right because they but don't want to deal with the fallout That's they don't want to deal with the fallout the truth is though if you really feel another way people do appreciate like women appreciate the honesty I really think that, that's what I think too yes they do appreciate the honesty and then he is he's on the extreme side secure of it. women do he is on yeah. the extreme side of it because like his wife will put like something on and come out of the bathroom and go are you ready and he'll look at her and goes. That's what you're gonna wear. Well, why not? Like you don't look good in that. Put on something else. My house yeah. would be she set would on fire. Same, but yeah. she would say the same thing to me. Right. Yeah. 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 Like we had that. Ba- like you painted out like I'm a complete a hole. Like it's a one sided thing in my house. No. But no. She, no. And you've been around my wife. She will give it back to me. Yeah. Oh, she'll give it back to everybody. I mean, your wife has come up to me before and go, "Wow, that looks stupid." Oh, okay. Thank you. So that's a good, they have a good report. She's commented on your facial hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah? What'd she say? She hates it. <laughs> Dude, I hate it, too. <laughs> I, I think your wife that. was the one that said that he looks like <laughs> it's been gay Orlando Bloom. He looks like gay Orlando Bloom. <laughs> the first thing when I walked in, I was like, I hate that dude's face. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. I hear that that's a lot. A normal, yeah. That's a normal reaction. Well, I guess yeah. I'm shaving. <laughs> Sorry. We're just not honest with each other anymore, Tom. I think that's what it is. But you're on. You are honest with your wife. It sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a. We've been together for a very long time, and we have that relationship. It does take. I think that's the thing too. The more time, the more honest. Usually, you know, unless you establish that the dishonest thing is the way to go, then that continues, and then people just lie to each other. We've become even more honest, and I do it with with clothes too, because I used to be a little bit more of the like, yeah, you look that's great. great, and then now I'll be like, I hate that jacket, and she's like, um. Okay, and then she goes, "Why do you hate?" I go, "What? I just hate it. It's stupid. I don't like the way it looks." And then she'll like return the jacket. Right. She goes, "Well, I'm not gonna wear jackets you hate because you're my husband." Right. So I go, "Like, ah, oh, this is a pretty good thing. Like, I don't have to look at things I don't like." Does Although she, does she to... give it back to you though? Does she totally, do... man. Okay. And yeah. That's a great. That's a great 
honesty is, is fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. But you also have to pick and choose your times. Of like course. Like, if we're running late for somewhere. Yeah, no, no. Then like, I'm not going to, you're going to go, how do I look? You look great. Fine, get in the that's, car. That'll be dumb if you, if you say, right. yeah. I don't know. Or he won't even say to his wife if she, if she cooks something terrible. Really? I'll be like, man, you, you tried. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Like, yeah. this is terrible. Don't make this again. Don't waste your time and my time making this garbage. She's so gotta... happy and so proud because my wife doesn't cook. So when she does cook, she's so happy oh. and it's the top of the world. And that's I'm not going to sit there and just drink. Just a, a toddler. Oh, well, that's maybe good. I a toddler. Oh, good. That's, that picture is very nice. I'm going to put it up on the fridge. How often <laughs> does she do it? Oh, I'm talking, if it's once a month, we are talking. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. See, I think that's even more no. grounds to be honest about it. That's 12 exactly. lives, that's yeah. 12 lives a year. That's taking your piece of crap artwork you did in school and putting up on the fridge. Yeah. Going, ah, look what little Timmy did. Isn't it so nice? No, it's really a piece of garbage. See, but well, at, at the same him. time, him and his wife have that relationship. They can go back and forth with it. Yeah. Myself and my wife, I know if I say that to her, I will literally destroy her. Really? Oh, dude, it would be it would be the end. What if, what if you just like kind of, you know... Go on a different angle, go play with her head a little bit, you know? Like, she makes something, you go, oh, this is good. Hey, have you tried making blah, blah, blah? And you and you spit out, like, it's a great an- some, of the, great. some of the, you know, recipe items and then, mm-hmm. uh, uh, or, you know, the ingredients. And then she's like, oh, no, you're like, I tried it. I had it at this place. I think you I actually looked up the menu, you know, how to make it. And this is how yeah. you make it. With my wife, I'd have to say, have you tried Captain Crunch? <laughs> what, <laughs> that's the extent of it. I, what, if you say it without, what if you say it without saying it? What if you eat it and then make yourself throw up right on the table? <laughs> yeah. Right on the table. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, it's so And then good. you just keep going. It's good. It's really good. <laughs> Give me more. It I'm wasn't as good on the way a, up. I'm having a violent out. allergic reaction to it, though. Right, listen, you, you can hang out for another half hour? Mm-hmm. All right, good. We have Shaman's Harvest coming in at 9 o'clock. They're going to play. Uh, we're going to do some news after the break. I'd like your uh, take on some of the okay. top stories going on. That's Tom Segura. <sighs> Who is at Helium Comedy Club this weekend? Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Go see him. He's a very nice guy. It, it so will far. be there all weekend. <laughs> so far. There may only be one show available. It looks like uh, they're selling out already. So Really? Is get on the site now. Look at you rolling into town. Mainly because of that headshot. Pillaging head and plundering. That's a hell of a headshot. That is a good headshot. Really yeah. Except for when I see it, I go, man, I hate that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bam! Look at your traffic and weather. Here is Patrico. He's a big old fat kid. Here's some chocolate fat, so... Coming at you. Your point traffic update, that being brought to you by Ryan Kelly, the home loan expert.com. Right now, only thing to report southbound 170, there was a stalled vehicle that has been cleared. Point forecast from Fox 2's Dave Murray today, hot and humid, chance for storms around 100 for the high. Tonight, partly cloudy, chance for more showers uh, around 80 for this the is low. A swamp fast alert. Very swampy. This weekend, hot and humid, chances for rain both days. Saturday should be crazy hot, close to 100 for the high both days. Right now, it is 80 downtown at Union Station. Boy, fat guys do not love this weather. Oh, my God. God, it's the worst. Under boob sweat? I just sweat everywhere. <laughs> Over boob, side boob, under boob. Side boob. Over I will boob. take a break. Come back with news.